Okay. So first of all, let's just look in here and see a couple of the areas. So the toolbar includes zoom sliders, commands, and modes buttons. Toolbar. And that's this whole area right here. So here's our tools. Um, we've got editors. We've got your pointer. You've got your range mode, focus mode, razor, snapping, link selection, flags, markers, transient detection. Here's zoom for vertical, horizontal. Okay. The transport controls include standard audio specific transport functions. So that is here. So you've got rewind, fast forward, stop, play. I was told to live a safe life. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense. Transport, rewind, forward, play, stop. This is record. This is loop. The interface toolbar shows and hides various palettes such as mixer and meters. So that's over here. So we've got the mixer, which is this. Meters, which are here. When the meters are shown, you actually can see the movie here. Here's some metadata. There's nothing to inspect there. Here's our inspector, nothing in there. So we don't need that open. We don't need that open. Let's leave these two open. Timeline audio clips are here. These are single channel audio tracks and multi channel audio tracks. So let's look at that. Here we go. So waves, here's stereo. These are stereo, stereo, mono. So the dialogue is mono and these are stereo. Okay, and they're named here. So the default Fairlight page includes a timeline, monitoring panel, and mixer. The timeline is optimized for audio mixing and uses single channel or multi-tracks, multi-channel tracks. Okay. So this project opens in the Fairlight page with the audio timeline, monitoring panel, and mixer visible. The one GOW trailer basic tracks start timeline includes six colorful audio tracks. The track colors were added for this lesson to help organize each track's contents, ranging from dialogue to sound effects and music. Okay. In the upper left corner of the timeline window, click the timelines drop down menu. See all the project's timelines. In the list of timelines, choose four GOW trailer mix. Okay. So that is in the timelines area, which is. Um, where are we seeing that right now? Here we go, right here. It's a little hidden because it's in with all this other stuff. Here is your safety time code. Here is your play and rewind section, transport section. And here are all your various um, timeline views. Okay, so you're gonna have multiple timeline views. Okay, so we're gonna open 4GOW trailer mix. And that's this one. All right, this timeline has only one stereo track containing the finished mix of the trailer. The corresponding frame of the video is displayed in the viewer in the upper right corner of the interface. Here, this is just the final stereo mix right here. To move the playhead to a specific time code, you can use the timeline ruler and corresponding time code display as a guide. Okay, so you have a timeline ruler here, and you have your time code display here, down to there. So the more you're zoomed in, the more fine your movements become with the timeline. Okay, in the interface toolbar at the upper right of the screen, click the mixer button to hide the mixer. You'll work with the mixer and monitor panels extensively later. For now, let's simplify the interface by expanding the viewer as a separate window and hiding the meters. So 
In the lower right corner of the viewer, click the Expand button or choose Workspace. That turns this into a floating window. Now let's click the Meters button to hide the monitoring panel. Now we'll move this down to the bottom here. You can always redock it by clicking that button there and it'll put it back up in here in the meters window. Okay, just so you know. We can close that. So we drag this down to the bottom. Now evaluating the tracks during playback. So you want to actively listen and evaluate tracks during playback. This is a necessary step towards building a powerful soundtrack. It involves listening to tracks played together independently and in various combinations to determine if they're working as a whole. So press the home key to move the play to the beginning of the timeline, then play the timeline once to see and hear the finished trailer. Okay, now you'll go ahead and watch that one time on your own and hear and see the finished trailer. Now that you've heard the mix, let's go back to the starting timeline. In the timeline drop down menu, choose one GOW basic trailer basic track start. It's up here. Track start. And you're back here. Let's move that over. Click any empty space on the A1 dialog track header to select the track. There we go, that selects the whole track. You see it highlight there. Notice that when a track header is selected, the name and number turn red and the track brightens. Look at that, it turns red. And it brightens. Click any empty space in the timeline to deselect the A1 track. Okay, let's experiment with the solo and mute buttons. So we're gonna solo the A2 waves one track and mute the A5 wind track. Solo the waves one track and mute the A5 wind track. This one here, M. So S for solo, M for mute. Start playback from the beginning of the timeline at around 12 seconds, unsolo the A2 track, then solo the A1 dialog track, and listen to at least two dialog clips. When you're finished, stop playback. So we're going to start playback from the beginning, at around 12 seconds, unsolo the A2 track, then solo the A1 dialog track. I was told to stop dreaming. As you can hear, the mute and solo buttons are an easy way to selectively listen to specific tracks during playback. You can also swipe them on and off to quickly solo multiple tracks at once. Let's leave the A5 track muted and try swiping the solo buttons on the other sound effects tracks. Your goal is to evaluate the sound effects tracks to see how well they enhance the impact of the visuals. visuals. First, you'll listen only to the waves and water sound effects on tracks A2, 3, and 4. So unsolo the dialogue, solo the waves and the water. Back to the top, play. the timeline again listening to all the tracks and evaluate the A5 wind track with the other tracks. So swipe down and unsolo. So just hold it there and swipe across. I 
I was told to live a safe life. To live a safe life. I was told to stop dreaming. So there you go. You can quickly go through and if you want to mute a bunch of stuff. I was told to live a safe life. Bring things in one at a time. And solo. So it's a quick way to listen in on the tracks and get a feel for all the different tracks. So give that a shot. Experiment with that for a minute. Okay, so by now you should have an informed opinion about the effectiveness of various tracks and the wind effect specifically. So basically you've listened through a bunch of different uh, pieces of the sounds and evaluated their contributions to the mix.